Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Vigio of Meet of the Word Ministries. I just want to conclude a few points here on the parable of the laborers going into God's vineyard. And again, keep in mind that this is referring to, after the laboring is all done, it's referring to the judgment day that all believers are going to have. This is Old Testament believers and New Testament believers. We're all going to stand before the throne room of Jesus. And I want you to keep in mind that there, and keep in mind that by this time, we are either resurrected in our resurrected bodies, or we're, we're going to have been raptured in a brand new incorruptible body. We will be with the Lord and we will come before the Lord just before the millennial reign will take place, before we go into that 1,000 year reign. And Jesus, using this parable, told us exactly what it's going to be like. And a couple things that, are, that, are, that stand out that are very important is that during that day there are going to be some that are watching the rewards of other people. That tells us that we're going to be seeing what other people are getting as their rewards, that there will be some that will come at at the end, you know, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. At the end, after they see what other people have gotten, they're going to be supposing, first off, they're going to be assuming, wow, God is being so gracious and full of generosity to those people and those people. And so they will suppose that when it's their turn to stand in the great uh, judgment of God, our great, wonderful reward systems of God, that they're going to, they're supposing that they're supposed to get more than what they had agreed to. And when they don't get more, but rather they get the same thing that everybody else had gotten and that God showed generosity to them and to those that had made, made and bargained an agreement with him, he kept to that agreement. They're going to begin to murmur against the good man of the house or they're going to murmur against God. Now think about that. Murmuring is something that God does not like. It's all throughout the Bible. God hates it. It is a terrible, vile sin against your own self. You know, cause not your flesh to, uh, cause not your mouth to let your, your suffer or allow your, your flesh to sin. That's a very important thing to take note of. God does not want us to walk around murmuring and complaining. But we're going to see that even at that time, in the days of the reward, there are going to be some that are murmuring. Now let me, he goes on to say this. He says, friend, I have done thee no wrong. Did you not agree with me for one penny? And then he asked this question. Is it not lawful for me to do with, with that which, I, which is my own? God has every right to do whatever he wants to do. His will is his will, not your will. He's not going to conform his will to your will or my will. He's going to do what he wants to do. And I'll tell you something. God is going to be extremely gracious to each and every one of us in our lives. When we stand before God, God is going to be full of mercy and compassion. He is going to be gracious and generous. But he goes on, is it not, is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is your eye evil because I am good? Is your eye evil? because I am good. So the three things that stand out in this parable that are going to take place when we stand before God, there are going to be some that are going to be supposing. There are going to be th those that will suppose certain things, will not have consecrated their will to the will of God and their judgments to the judgments of God, that they will begin to murmur against God himself, speak against God himself. And then thirdly, he go, Jesus points out and asks, is your eye evil? Is your eye evil uh, because I am good or because I am generous? A lot of people are jealous in their lives today when they see other people getting something. That's one of the key issues here that Jesus was talking about. Let me just close here with a couple points here. We, we face continual temptations to interpret evil where it does not exist where it does not exist. There was no evil in what God did. When God was generous, we're tempted to look at this and feel that we've been an injustice. Why? Because we're living right now in our own society, America particularly, but really all of the world, under this entitlement sense that we deserve something. The rich owe us something. The rich needs to share the wealth, spread the wealth, take take their money and give it to us. Well, God is going to do that. He, he is generous, but we are not supposed to expect it. We're not supposed to tell somebody what they're supposed to do with that which is their own. Another thing is that Jesus is always working to keep us from quarreling over those tendencies of jealousy. Jealousy is a painful thing, folks. Don't live under the, under the suspicions of jealousy. Get jealousy out of your heart. It doesn't do you any good, and, it, it, and it's not justice. God's not going to pamper it. God's not going to play with it. God's not going to reward it. You're going to lose reward for being jealous of God being gracious and merciful to other people. Jesus warns us to guard resolutely against making comparisons of others 
that stem from jealousy. Stop comparing yourself and wondering why God is blessing them and not blessing you. One of the reasons he's not blessing you is because you're not standing your ground and doing what you're supposed to do, not be jealous. Our rewards will be based upon our faithfulness to our task, the task that God gives us. Number two, our love for the brethren. And number three, our devotion to God. So be fully and wholly devoted to God. Give your heart, soul, mind, love Him with everything that you've got. It'll pay off in the long run. And don't be jealous of God blessing other people or helping people get back up on their feet again. No matter how far you've fallen today, God wants to pick you up. He wants you, even if you're an 11th hour person, He wants to pick you up and use you for His kingdom and His glory. Have a great day. God bless.